I'm at a friend's house I've been outside working all day cutting grass and uh, doing a lot of weed eating it's sorting through a lot of my books and uh, I'm, I want to bring you a big picture now so we don't get too far uh, this is 20th uh, video on the book of Revelation and it's just going to be a short video but I don't want you to get lost I'm going to show you the relationship between the seals the trumpets and the bull judgments how they are related in the book of Revelation during the tribulation period okay by the way the news today is devastating everybody knows that uh, this message is not intended to be morbid at all God doesn't want us to do that you know Jesus may come back today but you know it's a doctrine of eminence and he may not come back for a thousand years we don't know nobody knows it, it's it's in fact the Bible warns not to predict uh, dates and times however God does reveal certain things to us concerning what's going to take place during the tribulation and the millennial it seems uh, and common sense seems to indicate that we are a lot closer today than we were yesterday concerning the tribulation period because certain things have to happen for the tribulation to take place there's got to be a one world consensus um, a one world kind of ecumenical movement the platform to allow a one world leader uh, there's got to be a way of numbering all the people and most of those things are in place and now that they have this artificial intelligence that's even going to speed things along a lot faster so we don't know so take it for what it is the, the main thing is that God gave us this book to be prepared we want to be prepared so we're not taken by surprise and Jesus says he's going to come like a thief in the night you know and a thief isn't going to announce this hey you know what I'm here to steal all your things he's going to sneak in you know while you're sleeping and then he's going to take off you know but anyway let me let me go over to this kind of a big picture with you okay okay excuse if there's a little light here that's not a artificial UFO that's the light here that it is what it is there's another thing in there too okay when the rapture happens the rapture is the the church the body of Christ those that are truly his the believers that the ones that have been sealed with the Holy Spirit have been born again they are gone they're meeting Christ in the air okay so when that happens they're gonna to go to the marriage supper of the lamb and they're gonna get their rewards and everything and they're going to take on a different kind of body, a glorified body, okay? Now, when that event happens, that's when the seven-year period of tribulation begins. And John is on the island of Patmos, and he's writing about the sequences of what happens. And nobody was able to open the seal except for Jesus. And Jesus had to be the one to do it because he's the one that died for everybody's sins okay if he didn't do this and unleash these series of judgments and sin would continue so he has to do this so these judgments these series of seven seven and seven are judgment that is brought by the Lord Jesus Christ himself okay he doesn't want to hurt people he wants to save people he's not willing that any should perish but all should come to repentance but he has to exercise judgment and judge sin in its entirely the judgments are meant for a couple of things one it's meant to purge the people that are on earth and second of all it's meant to put an end to sin okay the first series he's got what's called seals okay and Jesus opens the seal and it starts kind of like a domino effect opens the first judgment and that is the Antichrist coming on the scene and you see a series of four horses okay and I've already gone into more detail about all that 
and the, all the horses represent something. The second one is war, then famine, then a, a fourth of the population is killed. Then you see a little brief uh, parentheses where you see a lot of the people that had come to know Christ during this tribulation period, just during the first half of the th uh, three and a half, a lot of them, because they did not worship the beast at the abomination of desolation or acknowledge him, he kills them. And so their prayers are going up uh, to God, and, and God is re revealing how that has taken place there. Then a major earthquake takes place. Now the seventh seal, judgment, and the reason I put a circle around it is because everything in the trumpet contains, every, everything in the seventh seal contains everything in the trumpets. And then the seventh trumpet contains everything in the bowls. So they're kind of unfolding. One unfolds to the next one, then to the next one, and to the next one. So it's very important that you see the relationship with them. In other words, the next one can't come until the, the one prior to it had already taken place. Okay, and then in the trumpets, you have storm, meteor, uh, the bitterness, that's where the waters turn into bitterness, and a lot of people die from drinking it, darkness, locusts, a third of the a population is killed. Then in the seventh bowl, it contains the first judgment of the bowls as sores all over your body and bloody seas and then bloody springs. And the sea is turned to blood. All the fish life is killed. Springs. I mean, where are you going to go? And people say, well, I'm going to go hide up in Alaska or Canada or someplace and where nobody. Hey, when God brings these judgment, there are many places you can hide. Okay. It's going to happen worldwide. Then fire is going to come on, intense heat, darkness, where all the uh, celestial uh, orbital stars, the moon and the sun turn black, uh, invasion of uh, locusts and demonic beings, and then a major earthquake and hail, followed by the battle of Armageddon. Okay, obviously it's not a place where we want to be, you know, during the tribulation, but Jesus promised that he was going to keep us from that hour, that time of wrath to come, and he's going to uh, make a way of escape for us. We will return as a church at the end, at the second coming, to serve with Christ for a thousand year millennial period. There will be people that survive, Christians that have put their trust in Christ, that survived during this period of time, that will also enter into the millennium. Okay, very dangerous time to live. You know, uh, I talked about also about the 144,000 that were sealed, Jews uh, from the 12 tribes of Israel. And uh, they are uh, supernaturally protected. And at some point during that time, they do accept Jesus as the Messiah. They also will enter into the millennial to serve with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm at a friend's house. I think they're calling me for dinner. <laughs> I'm still looking for a place, still praying and knocking on doors. I really cover your prayers. You know, I get tired of moving from place to place. It's very weary, very tiring, and having to live out of a suitcase and everything. So, but I'll do whatever God wants me to do. Okay, God bless you all. You all have a great day.